Are you running an IT services or software business? Are you struggling to attract new customers into your business? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three battle-tested strategies to attract new customers into your business more consistently month after month. Let's face it, not being able to get new customers into your business is a real problem. It results in slow business growth, failure to hit sales targets, and lack of revenue to scale up operations, hire more people, delegate tasks, and get ahead in a meaningful way. So I just want to share with you an observation that I've observed from working with dozens of IT and software businesses across you know, North America and Central Europe. And what I actually find is that, you know, these people are running a small IT services businesses and software businesses are actually very good at when it comes to sales. And sales by definition, the process of having a customer one-to-one -one and actually closing that deal. Uh, but what I find that they all kind of uh, fall down on is the actual marketing piece, the actual attracting of new customers into their business and getting those discovery calls, new sales conversations and appointments and so on and so forth. That's where people really struggle is the actual attracting of new customers into their business. And this is exactly what I'm gonna discuss with you right now. Three actionable strategies to attract new customers into your business so that you can scale up and grow. So the first strategy I want to discuss with you is paid advertising and digital sales funnels. So what is paid advertising and digital sales funnels? So paid advertising is essentially, you know, creating pieces of ad copy and creating ads and displaying them within the ad networks, whether it's Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. And the sales funnels is that kind of post-click experience, essentially hitting people to a landing page and getting them to opt in and convert and having an automated booking system within this funnel to get them to schedule a call with you in an automated way. So that's essentially paid advertising and digital sales funnels. And when set up correctly, it almost acts as like your, your digital selling machine, which is actually going out there and serving your marketing message or your sales message in front of your ideal target customer, you know, all over and, and wherever you want, whether it's your North America, Central Europe, or other continents as well. And it's essentially automated. It's going out there. It's showing your message in front of your ideal customer. And this set up correctly, it can help you to set up, you know, a highly qualified one-to-one -one sales conversations in an automated way with people like business owners, decision makers, uh, etc. So that's a, absolutely a reason why you need to look at leveraging paid advertising and digital sales funnels in your business. So the second strategy I want to discuss with you is content marketing. And kind of by definition, content marketing is the, you know, creating and distributing helpful information and stories to gain the attention, engagement and trust of a clearly defined audience and ultimately to drive a profitable action. Consistently doing this week after week and getting this message in front of your ideal customer, okay? And it helps as well uh, if you are actually after uh, engaging with people in a sales conversation and they haven't made a decision to purchase your service offering for whatever reason. So for example, email uh, newsletters in nurturing campaigns, uh, all this sort of stuff really helps you to, to stay top of mind with your ideal potential customer. And when it actually comes time, do they want to actually make a decision and go forward with your solution and they have that pain point that you help them resolve, you know, you'll be the provider essentially in front of this target customer with that solution that helps them to solve this problem. So that's why content marketing is always something you want to make a part of your marketing mix and want to do it consistently month after month and week after week. Third strategy to start attracting new customers into your business is prospecting and direct outreach. So prospecting is essentially hunting or looking for that specific target customer who fits your ideal customer profile. You know, whether it's the founder of a funded startup or the, the CEO or business owner of a small business. So you first thing you want to define that target customer and then you want to actually go out and start hunting for that specific target customer and you can use all sorts of channels from company databases to uh, mining your contacts to actually scouring on LinkedIn, essentially searching for that ideal target customer. And then the direct outreach component is actually reaching out and engaging with that specific target customer. And some of the key tips when you're actually doing direct outreach is firstly, make sure that kind of customer has the pain point that you help them resolve. And secondly, almost always try to make your message personalized 
And one of the key things for an effective outreach campaign is a really good marketing message. So a marketing message that really helps your customer, you know, survive and thrive. So that's exactly what you want to consider when you're doing outreach, whether it's via uh, email, LinkedIn, or whether cold email or cold calling or cold email, you almost always want to make it a really effective marketing message and that will really show up in the statistics in terms of connection rates, engagement rates, appointments, and all that sort of stuff. Now, if you're looking to learn more about effective sales and marketing strategies for your business, I want to quickly announce that we have a few spots open for our one-to-one -one consult with me and my team for our client acquisition accelerator program. And the link for that is in the description below. And who we work with is business owners, founders, all within the IT services and software space. And that includes managed IT services, um, software providers, consultancies, companies of that nature. And we also work with aspiring technology business owners as well. So those kind of working nine to fives who want to kind of break out and do their own thing or have a lot of experience or working in uh, industries and they want to serve kind of small businesses and, and get their first few clients. And if that sounds like you, click the link below and uh, yeah, we look forward to uh, speaking with you. Thanks so much for watching and until the next time.